So we got our setup, and we're going to add all these together, and we're going to equal 180. After looking at that now, would those of you who chose C chose something different now? What would you have chosen? Which one? A. Okay, I, I would have went with B on this one, is what I would have went with, because then I went ahead of fraction. Any of them work though. But you got to think through it a little backwards like we did with the three times one-third thing, okay? Um, so this one's a little tougher. All right, um, let's get rid of our fractions, our fraction one. So I'm going to take everything times three, every term. So there and there and there and there and there. So I'm going to have 3x plus 48. Now on this next term, my threes cancel, and I'm distributing one, which just means that my parentheses are dropping. Plus three x equals 540. I don't want to miss, miss this. So let's add our x's, which I forgot on that last term there. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7x plus 64 equals 540. So 3x and 1x and 3x, 48 and 16. Subtract your 64. And divide by 7. And I get 68. So let's go back and fill it up here. So that means angle C is 68 degrees. Add 16 to that. Angle A is 84 degrees. And then take a third of that, and you get 28 degrees. So I, my x was 68, I added 16 to get my 84, and then I took a third of 84, divided it by 3 to get my 28 degrees. Okay. Anything works to be x on that question. There wasn't necessarily one that was better than another. I could figure out, just because I've done math, and I'm sure some of you could, how not to have a fraction. But because the whole description was about A, that made it a little bit tougher, okay? Because if they would have said A is this, and then B is this, but it was all about A, okay? Okay, so this is like the ding, 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 ding question that I told you this thing would come back to haunt us, okay? The sum of two numbers is 15. Three times one of the numbers is 11 less than five times the other. Find the numbers. So first number, second number. Something's always got to be x. Plain x. So it doesn't matter what one of them be x. But how do I represent in terms of x the other number? Thank you for remembering. 15 minus x. Thank you for remembering that. If we go back to our notes on goal 1, 4, 1, 5, I can't remember which one it is. 1, 1, 1, 5. In, I think I even have a different color type. It says if you know the sum of two numbers, one of them is x and the other is the sum minus x. 
So that concept, any time you know the sum of two numbers, you're going to use x, and then that total they give you, whatever it is, the sum, 15 in this case, 15 minus x. Okay, you've got to remember that fact because it's going to appear over and over here in the next couple chapters. Okay, okay so there's our note. We've got to start with that. Then we're going to write our equation. Three times one of the numbers. You pick one. I'm just going to go with the first one. It doesn't really matter, though. They're going to come out the same. So three times one of the numbers, so I just did that, 3x, is or equals... 11 less than means I'm going to subtract 11 from 5 times the other. <coughs> 5 times because the other is a quantity, I'm going to have to use parentheses. So 3 times 1 of the numbers, so 3x, I chose that one, is or equals 11 less than means I'm subtracting 11 from 5 times the other. 5 times the other number, which is a quantity. So you could have switched this. That's fine. Okay? It comes out the same. Okay, so now we solve. So 3x equals 75 minus 5x minus 11. Collect your like terms on the right. 75 minus 11 is 64 minus 5x. Add 5x to both sides, and 8x equals 64, and divide by 8, and x is 8. So that makes my two answers. Back to my notes, 7 and 15 minus 7, or 8. Our last question for today, okay? A 2,000 liter tank containing 550 liters of water is being filled with water at the rate of 75 liters per minute from a full 1,600 liter tank. How long will it be before the two tanks have the same amount of water? It's not as bad as it sounds, okay? It's not as hard as it reads to be. Draw a picture. A 2,000 liter tank, okay? So I have a tank here that holds 2,000 liters, but it only contains 550. So you gotta be able to visualize what's going on with this, okay? So a 2,000 liter tank contains 550 liters of water. It's being filled from a different tank, a full 1,600 liter tank. Okay, so I have two tanks. Water is coming out of this and into this. And we want to know how long it's going to take before they're the same place. So what does my x represent? How long, and because it's being filled in minutes, x is going to represent the number of minutes. It's going to tell us how long. Now, think what's happening. 550. One minute goes by, 75 more gets added. 75 more gets subtracted there. Two minutes, 75 more added, 75 more subtracted. Three minutes, 75 more added, 75 more subtracted. You've got to be able to take those words and know that that's what's happening first. Does that make sense that that's what's happening? you got a tank that's being filled from another tank. So water's going in, water's coming out. Water in would be addition. Water out would be subtraction. Okay, so let's talk about the left tank. This is where our equation comes in. We're going to make the tanks equal each other. So we're starting at 550. 
and we're going to add water. How much are we adding? 75 liters every minute. So 75 or 150 or 225 or 300 or 375, but 75 for every minute. And we don't know minutes. That's what we're trying to figure out. So 75 for every single minute is what's being added. And then we're trying to make that equal to the other tank, which is starting at 1600, but water's coming out of that one. How much? 75 for the first minute, 150, then 225, then 300, then 375. So subtracting, I didn't leave enough room, 375. Nope, I don't want that open. Go back, go back. I don't know why I wrote three. Minus 75x. And there's your equation. So we saw. We're going to add 75x. So I have 550 plus 150x equals 1600. Subtract your 550. So 150x equals 1050. And then divide by 150 and x is 7. So seven minutes is how long that's going to take before they're equal. Draw pictures. You got to be able to visualize what's happening. Okay? The drawing pictures helps. Then draw the pictures. But think through it. Don't make. Don't think. Think equation immediately. Okay? Think about what's happening. Then those thoughts go. Make the equation. Okay, you don't have to think equation right away. Think about a picture, what's happening, then my, then my picture, then my equation, sorry. Okay, some questions. Okay, you have some OTL. You have got to get these started and know what, we're, like I said, we're heavy duty word problems, especially when we get to um, goal three, okay? Um, so these 12 here, it's this group. I've only left you about five minutes today, so I apologize for that. Um, I'll tell you what, let's, um, I wonder if I wrote those down like that. Let me look at my book real quick. These aren't as involved as some of the other ones we're going to do. Just do, just set them up. Let's do that. I'll make it, we'll, we'll cut off a little time there. So you have 12 questions and just do a setup. Okay? So a setup for each one, but you do not have to solve it. Okay? So we'll cut off a little time from that.